Well, ladies, I am back. I went to the store, ready to do this project now. Let's put these ornaments together. Now, the first thing you need to remember is that we are putting, doing the ornaments, and we are putting, gluing the accordion onto the ornament. Therefore, it's important that you have plenty of glue on what you're gluing it on, because remember, the only thing that's going to stick is this part here the part that's up so uh, I folded it and now adhere it on to the section and wait till you see the project we're going to do it is so cute I you know like I said in the last video I went to Hobby Lobby well, I was going to make a wreath. I thought, how cute would that be? These, by the way, are the ornaments that Bobby cut out. How cute would that be? See? Stuck that on. To um, make a wreath with these ornaments. Well, got there, and guess what? All they had were these absolutely huge wreaths left because they've got a sale 40% uh, off on all Christmas supplies. So that didn't work because I don't need a great big wreath for the inside of my house. So I decided, no, we're not going to make a wreath. So what I did is I got just a little tiny wall hanging that I can put up inside my house. And I'm going to hang a couple of these ornaments from there. And you'll see, ooh, ooh. I'm putting lots and lots of glue on, and I'm getting glue all over my counter. Not glue, but adhesive on my counter. My husband's gonna love it. I am so bad at this. I'm continually getting adhesive off my countertop. Ooh, and this one, I really got it stuck. Better get that up. Guess I'll be scrubbing. What else is new? Now, as you can see, I've got a ton of adhesive on it, and I'm going to have to roll that off. See how you can see it in there? I'll have to roll it off with my finger, but the main thing is we've got plenty of adhesive on here, so it's going to stick to the, um, the accordion part of the ornament. Oh, Bobby did such a cool job on these. They are just so awesome. Bobby, thank you, thank you, thank you again for this wonderful project. And I thank you from all of our, la our ladies that are watching today. I'm sure they love it just as much as I do. Because they're going to be making them. And maybe we'll see all kinds of novelty um, items. Um, um, well, hopefully we will. We'll see you, you folks linking up any in all kinds of different projects. And um, I'm going to link up another project on Tuesday. I'm going to post another project with these ornaments that we're making here. But um, you'll see when that comes on Tuesday. Look at that. Isn't that just too adorable? Now I've got a couple more to make. Bobby put all kinds of these together. It's so exciting that he did that. This is the circle one. And notice how the circle one looks like an like a um, oval. And what I do is I get them, scrunch them all together so that they've got that nice fold. And then we'll adhere it to it. Make sure I've got the right side. And again, lots and lots of adhesive. And I just changed my ATG gun, and it seems like whenever I change it, I always have a problem with it. I'm not skilled. When I went to the Texas Stampede, it was funny. My ATG, of course, runs out when I'm in the middle of doing a thing, a post, and fortunately I had uh, Melissa and Pam nearby. Melissa shot over her ATG gun, and so I was able to work with that. Pam grabbed my ATG gun. Did you know Pam is an engineer? 
and Pam put mine together. And you know, I have to share with you, I do not always keep these straight up and down because I like having a little slant to them and a little adjustment. I made a card where, you know, the accordion, they come up and down like this, but I made another card where you looked at it and the accordion went across diagonally instead of horizontally. And uh, now we'll go around on this. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I have to go back and show you how to make this on the Gypsy. Sorry I haven't done that yet. I got so excited. I mean, it's not often I have something all cut out for me. And I can just go in and be spoiled and do the project. So that's exactly what I did. And I did promise you I'd go back and get the dimensions for you. And I'll do that. And I'll have a video just on that. It'll be a very simple video because this particular project is like going back to the basics but you know what you know the basics and you can do anything with that gypsy and look at this this is a basic project that Bobby took all he did was stretch an item and look at how unique it is and that's why our gypsy is just so wonderful is we can make so many awesome awesome projects just by making a few adjustments to our gypsy. Isn't that cool? Another ornament, done. See how fast they actually put together? And this one is that odd shaped one. Looks like this when it's done. I scrunch them up again scrunch it up because you've got to take that big wide thing and fit it into a little get all your um, adhesive put on get your counter all messed up that's part of the instructions ladies no not really but if you're like me it'll get all messed up Line up your ornament, let it spread out. And you may have to trim the sides. Looks like because I already set this down, I'm gonna have to trim the sides on this a little bit. Which is fine, you can do that and check it out. I do have scissors, nice ones. Usually I'm grabbing the kitchen scissors. I remember this time. I'm going to trim this one because I didn't keep it short. I didn't keep it right to the thing. And so, but if you don't, look at, all you have to do is go back and trim. How nice is that? a little bit. One thing about paper is you sure can't goof up a lot, but I didn't get it right to the edge. I laid it down and pressed it down before I had it all scrunched up all the way. It still looks like an accordion. I'll show you in just a sec. Let me just get this trimmed out. See, oops, you can still see the accordion right there, no problem whatsoever. Although, as you can see from here, I didn't have it scrunched real good. There. Now, let's get this pushed aside. Get this on. This one is so intricate. This cut. So, so pretty.
and then you just put it on. It's that simple. Get it on there, all lined up, and you've got a beautiful, beautiful ornament. I have to rub some of the adhesive away because I got, remember I put all kinds of adhesive. See, look at that, isn't that just adorable? Okay, now we've got our ornaments made. Got all kinds of them here. Bobby sent a lot of ornaments. And then I made, I'm, well, I have to put together my six. I'm not gonna bore you with that. But look at that. Now, what I'm going to do, and you have to see what I bought. 40% off, ladies, 40% off. Let's see if I get a calculator and I can tell you exactly. Well, I'm not even gonna bother with that. We'll figure it in our head. $9. That would be $4 off, so I paid $5 for that. Isn't that cute? Or actually, four, uh, five and a half dollars I paid for it. Now, what I'm going to do is take some ribbon and I'm going to hang a couple of these ornaments from there. This is one of my projects and there's so many different projects you can make with these uh, ornaments. And that's what I can't wait to see is what you do with yours. Ha, what you actually come up with. And I am going to hang some ornaments. And first I'm going to take an ornament and we're going to tie a ribbon. Tie a pretty bow, I want a bow on it. I just think they look nicer with a little bow on the ornaments. No, I don't think I like that bow. Hmm, let me play with this. I'm going to take you off camera for a minute until I figure out exactly how I'm going to tie this bow. I might tie the bow and put it, put it on with, um, with the glue dot, I think is what's going to end up. And then I'm going to hang it from this wall hanging. It's going to hang down from there. And I'm going to hang a couple ornaments off of that. Isn't that cute? So let me work on exactly how I'm going to do that. And then I'll get back to you in just a sec. Well, I'm working, excuse me, I'm working on this project. And I'm getting there. I'm really getting there. What I did is I attached, I turned this upside down and I attach the ornaments hanging on strings using just right uh, onto the sign itself and then I used just plain old ordinary glue dots to uh, get the, um, the, um, the, the ribbon to line up where I wanted it so it would stay in place and it wouldn't untie. So, I've got, as you can see, I've got the ornaments hanging. When they're up against the wall, they're going to always stay forward. So I've got five ornaments hanging from this Merry Christmas. And I'll get it on the wall and show you what it looks like. But right now, I want to finish getting it just right. I've got two that I have to put the ribbons on yet, or bows, I should say. And I've got the little bows all made. I just need to glue dot them on. And then trim them so that they're just the right size. Another glue dot. And we have a project that is as cute as could be and took us little or no time. And I am just dying to see what you link up 
on these um, what your projects look like and what ideas that you come up with. I did a home improvement and uh, later on in the week I'm going to do use a layout with the other ornaments that I have. So let me get this hung up on the wall. My glue dot stuck to my counter. I'm so good with the glue on these counters, I tell you. Can you stand it? There we go. Move it on to the string. Okay. Okay. There it is on the wall. Isn't that pretty? Didn't that turn out wonderful? And just think, those were the ornaments that Bobby designed. And look what a wonderful wall hanging it makes. Now, be sure to link up your project. I can't wait to see what you do. Thank you for joining us today on She's a Sassy Lady. And be sure to look at the video that gives the instructions on how to make those ornaments. Thank you, and bye now.